Have you ever seen hippopotamus? Or you can call by its short name, hippo. If you go to Africa, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, you will see them, normally in shallow lakes, rivers, swamps in daytime, or in grassland at night. Hippo is a large semi-aquatic mammal. According to the article by San Francisco Zoo, the name hippopotamus comes from a Greek word meaning water horse or river horse. In African, the word for hippo is sikoi, meaning sea calf. The common hippo is the first largest land animal after alpha and white rhinos. As you know, a bit general information about hippos. Have you ever wondered about how does hippo communicate? What is the process they use to communicate with others? Hippo is one of the animals that has very loud voice. Its vocalization can reach up to 115 decibels, which is as powerful as a sound in a rock concert. Hippo also can use infrasonic sound for long distance communication. Dr. William Barlow, a professor of Framingham College, is the first person who interested in, in stu and studied in hippo social community. He traveled to Tanzania's Roha National Park in Africa to study and do his exploratory work about hippo. What he found from his research was a very helpful information which the world has never known before. According to the study of Barlow and from the online article, hippopotamus called from Burrow Lab at Ohio State University. They also state that hippos may be the only animals that communicate amphibiously by sending and hearing messages in both air and water simultaneously. Barlow also adds that 80% of the hippo vocalizations are made underwater. Stephen Hart, zoological researcher, also writes about hippo topic in his project, Animal Communication Project. Hart writes about Barlow's research and his ex discovery. Barlow calls this process which hippo uses to communicate with others is amphibious communication. When hippo is in the water, said Barlow, with its flat upper jaw, upward pointing nostrils, and top mounted ears, a hippo can keep its mouth, lower jaw, and throat submerged. In the air, hippo use their nostrils to make an airborne sound to communicate with others. But, how do hippos speak underwater at the same time? The answer of this secret is in the hippo's fat, which is around their larynx. In the article, Hippopotamus Call, they said that hippos have, have a very fatty area around the neck and the vocal cords. Fat is about the same density as water as well. When a hippo vocalize, vocalizes, the vibrations may go through the fat layer in the neck and travel out into the water. This allows for communication above, on be, above and below water. Wait again. As we know that hippo sends messages underwater by its fat, how about the way they listen to any sound underwater? Because, refer to the article, when hippo is moving or swimming underwater, they always close their exterior ears. Therefore, they cannot use their ears to hear any sound. So, how can hippo hear underwater? <coughs> the magic key that unlocks this secret is its jaw. Hippo use their jaws to receive messages underwater. As the article says, hippos listen to these sounds through their jaws. The connections from their jaws to, the, to their sc schools is very thin, great for acquiring sound. This portion of the jaw is connected to the middle ear. The vibrations then travel through the body and into the, the ear, where it is translated into the sound. There also is Tom Hannigan, Associate Professor of Biology at Truett McConnell College, writes online articles, Hippopotamus Territorial Tours, providing additional information about the ability of hearing Underwater makes hippo be able to know the distance where the boy is located. He states that since sound travels much faster to, through water than through the air, 
Sounds will reach the hippo middle ear twice. Hippos may be able to determine distances by the difference between when they hear a sound in the water and when they hear it in the air. This simultaneous hearing may help them communicate territorial boundaries over large distances and minimize fights with other hippos. For me, as I have done res this research so far, hippo is a very interesting animal. Something about it I have never known before and I think I will never know if I didn't start to study about it. It is not only hippo story that was for us to know, but also other billion species of animals are waiting for us to unlock that awesome secret story. My animal is hippopotamus. How about yours? Thank you.